Legos. <laughs> awesome. Well, Katniss and Legos both used what is called a recurve bow, which is the one we're going to be shooting with today in class. Okay, so, what you're hey, doing is you're blue. closing your eye. Put it back on the rack. Oh! <laughs> Composers. You guys can write that down. So in order to adapt to all those seeds and nets, squirrel's teeth are constantly growing. And we're going to talk about that. Ooh. All right, Ooh. so. Yeah, man. We're going to look at number six. The first blank is fire. Why don't we see objects coming together like that on Earth? Like, why isn't my Bible moving towards this map that part? Because there's a bigger map. Which is what? Which is the Earth. The Earth. Thank you, dude. You've been killing it with Today, dude. You get After we heat it up, we're gonna drop the gummy bear inside. What do you guys think is gonna happen? The gummy bear is gonna melt. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 Third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Objects will move faster and farther when they are pushed harder. You guys see how these walls are working together? We have the engine pushing forward, which is one and two working together. You know, it's not going to start moving by itself and it needs a big enough force to get it off the ground. And that causes the noise principle to take into effect so we get lift. And when we get lift, we get the Newton's third law. Lift, gravity, drag, and thrust. We are going to be trying to learn three things in our group initiative um, activities today. The first one is we're going to be trying to learn about ourselves, learn your strengths, your weaknesses. The second one is to learn about others. And the last and most important one is to learn about God. So I would say that this is a pretty successful group to work with. So what made that happen? We trusted each other to do what we needed to do without knowing if they were going to do it or not. So it took a lot of time. put our own way, will, want, and whim above him, that is sin. That sin pollutes our world and destroys our relationship with God. But here's the hope. Jesus has come to restore and repair our relationship with God. And when we put our hope and faith and trust in Jesus and ask him to take that penalty of sin, he covers us with his grace. He floods us with his Holy Spirit and we are forgiven for our sin. And it restores our relationship with God that we can once again be the people that God has desired and designed us to be. And we can have the mission that he's created us to fulfill.